uh, to kind of show show off what you're able to do. But uh, in that moment, I was just you know ready to help out the team in any way. And, and you know, in, in that scenario, it was to hit that field goal. And uh, I was just happy to you know for you know the guys in the unit, uh, just for all of us to do our job and you know executed it perfectly. Look, you have some distance still. On yeah. That 50 yard or, yeah. Can you give away what your range might be? Uh, I mean, I'm pretty pretty you know confident anything inside you know 55 I like to say I'm good but I mean anything after you know that I'm I, I, I mean I'm confident anything inside 60 I'm going out there uh with the same thought in my head knowing that you know I have full trust in you know the snapper the holder and the, and the line to do their job to make my job even easier so anything inside that I'm, I'm super confident and going out there in the same thought how do you keep like a clear mind like when you go out like feel able to push it up to six or yeah. I need to make this 50 yarder like what's kind yeah. of like your mindset as a kicker yeah no it's uh it, it's kind of it's kind of different you know all, all position groups go out there ahead of steam you know ready to you know blow up guys tackle guys but for specialists it's it's really unique because you know you got to keep a clear mind and when I go out there really it's it's just focusing on you know Lane, you and I um, us three kind of have a super close relationship and you know we all have trust in each other and just you know thinking about all the practice reps all, all the amount of times that we've you know simulated that kick before it's nothing different than being in the game did coach be able to give you a nice pat on the shoulder after the game uh yeah no it was cool i i, I shared a little moment with him obviously uh it was nice to get that win it was nice to contribute in, in some way but uh you know just excited for for what's to come next week I know we talked before this season about kind of the lineage of kickers here. Right. You know, and, yeah. Uh, you won the job and you, you're going out for dudes. Like, what's yeah. it like to be next in that group? Yeah, no, it's it's uh, it's an honor being a specialist here at this university. Um, obviously, it comes with, you know, a great price. All the guys before me have done amazing jobs. Uh, but just kind of staying in the moment of it all, obviously, uh, taking, you know, one game at a time. Uh, and kind of just going at it, you know, like I said, one game at a time, one kick at a time. Uh, it's definitely an honor to, to be in this in this position and be able to help the team out in any way I can. But it, it's a cool feeling knowing you know where I'm at with you know the guys that've come before me. I think the important question is the celebrations. Uh, <laughs> was the Eastern one? Was that the yeah, Spider-Man meme or yeah. was that the office? Uh, yeah, we got. Uh, I mean, I was just it was, a lot of emotions came came to me obviously after those kicks. Uh, obviously, Eastern opening up you know my my account with you know a field goal finally getting one and. Um, and then Kansas, obviously, um, having, you know, that field goal, being able to help the team. Motions just, you know, ran out. I was just happy to do it and uh, kind of just gave the, the fist bump. But uh, it was just a cool feeling, surreal to kind of. Oh, uh, that, that one was just something we kind of had and kind of, uh, I mean, just, just to make it a little more fun going out there, just to, you know, be appreciative of each other and just to have fun with it, really. Obviously, you know Caleb. Yeah. But have you gotten to meet some of the other guys that came before you? Yeah. Chase yeah. and those guys. Yeah, I actually, uh, I met Chase this summer. Okay. I've known James for quite a while, too. Oh, of course, right. Yeah, so McCord, Caleb, and I actually trained with the same dude back in uh, Chicago, okay. in the Chicagoland area. So I've, I've known them, and I've gained so much knowledge from, knowledge from them, just uh, picking things from them, you know, how to deal with these with some scenario situations and stuff like that. Chase would like to your 50 yard, right? He would, he would like, Chase would like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Long I, I'd hope so. Yeah. I'd hope so, so. Are you a routine based kind of guy? Like? Yeah, no, it's, uh, I mean, we, you know, one of our things that we preach in this, you know, uh, our, like team is just live your routine. I think routine is a huge thing. And in, in uh, my everyday approach, you know, I warm up the same, uh, you know, my approach in a game is the same. I never do anything other outside of it just because, you know, the routine is, is a habit. And obviously when I line up for a field goal, it's the same routine I have. It's, it's a huge part of you know who I am as a player and a person. It's not like superstitious though, right? It's it's like, hey, you're trying to get a checklist of things that you want to get done before they snap yeah, the ball, no, right? Yeah, no, it's it's not superstitious. Yeah, it's, it's stuff that I've done for you know three years now, and it's right. stuff that comes to my head like that. You know, sometimes I don't I don't really think about what I'm doing just because I've done it for such a, a long time. It's just built into me, and, and it's a routine. How hard is it to block out the game situation and just make it like every other game? Yeah, no, I I would say maybe first game going out there you feel it in the moment but after just getting a kick in uh, I, I mean uh, a lot of people talk about it, a lot of people talk about the noise and stuff um, obviously Kansas was a sold out game but uh, you know it's, it's easy to block out that noise when, when you have you know the, the 10 guys out there that do an amazing job and make my make my job even easier uh, and you know with Lane and Hugh snapping it's just it makes everything so much easier for me. Especially at home, like you said, sold out. Does that could that give you a little more juice? You think? Yeah. No. I mean, I, I take 
pretty much I, I knew that game was obviously you know raked opponent coming in but just taking you know each game at the you know the same purpose same uh same mentality you know i never look at a game anything different just because they're ranked or not but uh, you know at the end once you know we finished that game it, it was cool to kind of you know feel that moment but uh just kind of one of those things where you know leave that behind and you know prepare now for for next week but i have to ask you about routine are yeah. you a little superstitious at all or no um some things you know i put i always put my right cleat on first yeah. uh yeah um uh, kind of in you know i always kick like two balls before third down uh warm up on the opposite side never on the same side uh, but that's just kind of stuff that it's it's superstitious but also just clears my mind and also sure. like i said sure. it's, it's routine what are the vibes like just in the locker room after you know winning a big game against kansas yeah no it's good uh you know the whole team feels it and you know the night of the game it was super fun just sharing the moment with the guys in the locker room obviously you know all of us have worked super hard uh it was a rematch game we've had it circled and it was it was a fun it was a fun experience just to know that uh you know all the work that we put in uh you know it's, it's paying off and it's, it's seeing but uh it was one of those things where you know it's fun in the moment but now that you know we're done with it you know we still got you know what is it a 10 more opportunities now so just looking looking at next week now does it 